Hello, everyone, and welcome to Trezorit's webinar about file servers versus Trezorit. Trezorit is a secure end-to-end -end encrypted cloud storage and file sync and share service that can offer businesses many benefits over traditional file servers. My name is Tomasz Gruber, cloud security consultant at Trezorit, and I have Tim Newton with me as well, who is regional manager at UK, Ireland, and Benelux, and member of the Association of Security Consultants. In this webinar, we will explain what benefits Trezorit can offer to businesses over traditional file servers. I'll give a brief introduction first about the benefits of the cloud in general, and then I will talk about the fears that might stop companies from migrating to the cloud. After this, I'll hand over to Tim, who will demo the features uh, of Trezorit that can enable businesses to enhance collaboration, flexibility, and control over file management within their organization. I'll then introduce some additional features that will help you understand the advantages of file management with Trezorit as opposed to file servers. As technology has matured, more and more businesses started leveraging the benefits of the cloud. Contrary to file servers, the cloud allows enhanced mobility with access to files from anywhere, from any device. It facilitates collaboration between offices, helps to save storage space, and can increase control over company files. All this without the maintenance cost and administrative hassle of traditional file servers. The necessity of store, to store data in a secure and compliant way also rose as SMBs and enterprises around the world started facing more and more regulations like GDPR or HIPAA. However, many companies still have security concerns when it comes to moving data to the cloud. The proliferation of data breaches shows that hackers are increasingly after information stored in the cloud. If you look at the slides, you can see that more than 2 million data records got compromised in 2017. And this year is not different. Nearly every week, we wake up to find that a new data breach dominates the headline. With Treasury, the fear of a breach that would leak millions of confidential data, like credit card details, ID numbers, banking information, etc., is minimized as Trezorit offers a highly secure yet easy to use way to store, sync, and share files in the cloud. As Trezorit provides end to end encryption, nothing leaves your device unencrypted. And as a consequence, no one, no government, no hackers, not even our own admins can look into the content of your files. Therefore, even if there is a server-side data breach, data can only link, leak in an unintelligible format, meaning you don't have to worry that the content of your files will be revealed. Trezorit also offers a wide range of security and governance features to empower businesses to better control their data and enhance collaboration internally and externally. At this point, I'd like to hand it over to Tim uh, to introduce these features to you. Thanks very much, Tamash. Uh, welcome everybody to the, the short webinar. I'm going to share my desktop and just show you some of the security features of Trezorit. One of the main features we have compared to the other providers in this marketplace is I can build up teams of users within my organization and indeed external to my organization. And each of these teams I can put into a policy template. So here we can see I have finance interns. Once I have my team uh, contributors built up, I can then start to enforce security policies across that particular team. So for my finance interns here, I have two-step verification enforced. So they have to have a mobile phone associated with the account and Trezorit will ask for a six-digit PIN number whenever they try to log in. I can restrict access to Trezorit from a range of IP addresses. I can stop the users from ac activating certain functionality within the system, uh, such as sharing contract, uh, contacts, creating their own Trezors, 
uh, fol sharing those folders with other people. And indeed, I can even stop the users from synchronizing uh, folders down to their device. They have to work 100% in the cloud. Furthermore, for each user, as the Treasurer admin, I have some visibility and a lot of control over those particular users. So let's take this particular Gmail account here. Uh, if this particular person uh, has lost a device, I can immediately come in here. I can see which devices are associated with this account. So if he's left his iPad on the train, I can unlink that iPad from the system and everything to do with Treasurit data will be deleted remotely from that iPad. Similarly, with a laptop, uh, again, if I pick a person's laptop here, this is a Dell XPS laptop, I can unlink that. And because this is a, a PC rather than a mobile device, I can optionally delete synced files from the device. So in the event that someone loses or leaves their laptop on a train or leaves it in a restaurant, I, as the Treasurer Administrator, can remote wipe that device uh, clean of any data that that user has got synchronized onto that machine. As a user myself, I also have this ability within the My Account functionality of Treasurit. So if I know I've lost my iPad, I can log in as myself and wipe that device clean as well. Now, more interestingly, um, if this particular individual feels that their account has been compromised, I can immediately suspend that account, which will log this user out from each and every device they have and will not allow them to log back in until I unsuspend the account. I can also, as Treasury Administrator, reset the password for this particular user and give them a one-time password so that they can get back into the system. Um, however, they will be forced to change that password on their first login. I also have some visibility into my company data for this user and where it's being shared. So in this particular case, I can see that this user has one folder. It's not actively being shared with anybody at the moment. I cannot see the contents of the folder, but I can see the folder names. So it may be that I would want to approach this individual and say, why are you sharing this particular folder with these individuals either inside or outside of the organization? Now, as a user, um, I have a, a lot more control over collaboration than I would have with a file server um, or indeed an FTP server. So for uh, any particular folder, and here I've got my Chessits Lodge Inventory folder, um, I can see who this is being shared with and I can immediately revoke or uh, change the rights for this particular individual and make them an editor or indeed I could remove their access from that uh, particular uh, folder altogether. I won't do that in this particular case. And for each folder, I have a complete activity wall, so I can see who changed what and when, and this is filterable, so I can look for just files that have been edited by a specific individual. Um, I can also undelete files. So if a user has deleted a file in error, uh, I can just show the deleted items, and here I can just right-click and restore that file. That's quite handy if I have someone who's deleted a file or folder, either inadvertently or maliciously, or indeed in the case of ransomware, where the ransomware either deletes and replaces or overwrites a file, I can get the original version of the file back. Treasurit is also highly mobile. Unlike a file server, Treasurit will run on Windows 7, uh, and upwards. It'll run on Apple Mac OS X. It'll run on pretty much any mobile device, including anything running Android, anything running iOS. We also have versions for Windows Phone 8. Uh, whilst they are uh, no longer supported, the, the functionality is there. And we also have a version that runs on Linux uh, for the more technically uh, oriented users. And bear in mind that with Treasurit, we have desktop applications or mobile applications for each of those platforms. And in addition, you can get access to your Treasurit files via a web browser. One feature uh, that our, our users do like is the ability to customize the, uh, the, the screen. So when you're sending an invite to somebody or sending them a link, I'll come to the links in a minute, but if I'm sharing a link with somebody, I can put my company logo 
uh, on the documents and, and information that's coming out of Trezorit. Uh, and that's very easy to change. You just click on the change button, uh, select the logo, uh, change the size if you want to, and then this logo will appear on, on any and all invites that are sent out from Trezorit. I mentioned the, the links functionality, and this is a really secure way to send information without collaboration to a particular user or, or maybe people outside the organization. So this is just for sending information, for information purposes only. I don't want to collaborate with the other person. I just want to send them, for example, a final copy of a, of a draft brochure or a contract or a final set of accounts. And we have a, a rather uh, good plugin available for Outlook. I can tell Outlook uh, that any time I put a file attachment into an email, that Trezorit should intercept that and turn it into a secure link. And what will happen is the file that I drag into this email will be firstly encrypted behind the scenes and then uploaded to Trezorit. Once it's been uploaded to Trezorit, I can then put some conditions on this particular link. So I'm gonna say that this is gonna expire in three days. I'm only gonna allow it to be downloaded maybe uh, once, and I can optionally password protect the link as well, in which case I would obviously telephone through or send the password via a different communication channel. But when I activate this link, uh, that will go into my email, and the user does not need to have Trezorit at all. All they need is a browser, whether that's Internet Explorer or Edge, Chrome, Firefox, Safari. Uh, they would just click on the link, and then uh, that would break open a browser window. If it's password protected, it'll ask them for the password, and then allow them to either view or download the document to their machine. So this is a really secure way to send email attachments, not in open text format. And I have quite a good example of this. The reason why we do this is because A, we can password protect the attachments, and secondly, I as the sender and you as the recipient know that the contents of this email haven't been interfered with between the time I sent it and you received it. And a good example of this is a Treasury customer in London. He is a builder who does loft conversions, converts the roof space uh, in people's houses into additional accommodation. And he was sending out invoices in PDF format. And his mail server suffered a man in the middle attack. And the hackers changed the bank details on the PDF invoice. And of course, the poor customers paid into a completely scam bank account that was then cleared out immediately. Uh, and that was, resulted in the loss of some tens of thousands of pounds. So by sending your invoices or, or information in this way, you have much more control over it. Not only that, if I have sent the email to completely the wrong person, I can revoke that link at any time, uh, in which case um, it will not be available for download. That, I think, is a summary of, uh, of the Trezorit functionality that we want to go through today. Uh, Tamash, maybe I'll hand back to you for uh, a summary and uh, a final closing words. Thank you, Tim. That was very useful to see. Appreciate that. Um, after demonstrating Trezorit's features that can enhance collaboration and control over your files, let's talk about some other aspects as well. Um, to start with, it's important to stress that setting up high level protection for, for file servers is much harder than you would think. Firewalls, antivirus, or other standard security products are essential, but usually not enough. You also have to design and maintain a secure server configuration and keep your servers up to date with the latest security patches. With Trezorit, you don't have to worry about security as a group of highly skilled developers, including our dedicated information security team, are working hard to take care of these tasks and to constantly provide you a secure environment. Furthermore, Trezorit servers are located in highly secure Microsoft Azure data centers in Ireland and in the Netherlands. And these data centers are constantly guarded to prevent unauthorized access and they are constructed to protect against environmental threats. Trezorit also has a certification for compliance with ISO 20, uh, 27001 uh, 2013. And Trezorit was audited 
uh, and certified by TÜV Rheinland, an independent third-party auditor. Our compliance with this internationally recognized standard and code of practice serves as evidence for our commitment to information security at every level of our organization. Finally, with our zero knowledge end-to-end -end encrypted technology, Treasurit also offers a HIPAA compliant cloud storage solution. And Treasurit signs HIPAA business associate agreements for customers who are seeking HIPAA compliance to safeguard protected health information, so-called PHI. Then there is also the element of privacy, a very current issue with the proliferation of data breaches and government surveillance. Treasury protects the content of your files from hackers, snooping governments, and the dangers of internal breaches. Contrary to mainstream cloud providers, Treasury uses end-to-end -end encryption done on the client side to guarantee the protection of your content. Your files are encrypted before they leave your device and remain fully encrypted until they reach the recipient. Only you have the keys to open and share them. Treasury's technology is basically based on zero knowledge principle, which means that we never see your files unencrypted or your passwords in plain text format. As Treasury comes with built-in end-to-end encryption, you don't need to bother with integrations Encryption happens automatically without you noticing it. Last but not least, Treasury can also help your compliance. Companies based in the EU, and in certain cases, even the uh, ones outside, have to comply with the GDPR, the General Data Protection Regulation, that came into effect just recently in May 2018. This governs how data about EU citizens is managed and highlights encryption as one of the technology measures to ensure data protection and compliance. Furthermore, according to the GDPR, you as a data controller must further process data with third-party processors by protecting data in a compatible way with the original legal basis. From Treasury's perspective, the content of your files is not considered personal data because of or end-to-end -end encryption. This means that you don't need to inform or ask for the consent of your clients for managing their data in files processed with Treasury. In addition, Treasury stores your files on European servers, which is a huge step towards GDPR compliance. We have reached the end of our presentation. We would like to thank you all for your attention and hope that we were able to give you a comprehensive overview uh, about Treasury's business benefits versus a traditional file server. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us via sales at treasury.com or for more information, please feel free to visit our website, treasury.com. Thank you again, have a great rest of the day and bye.